Right now, we're following developing news. A third staff member has been arrested in connection to the escape of four dangerous teens from the juvenile detention center. Officers say Tierra Fox asked an operator to send an elevator to the basement after being asked to by one of those teens. Now, four teens were able to escape using that elevator. She was fired for her role in that escape. Tonight, News 4 investigates first expose the litany of mistakes made by those employees. And part of the outrage is the $253,000 it cost police to ultimately catch those teens. For the first time tonight, the president of the private company that runs the center had to answer questions from council members and our chief investigator, Jeremy Finley. Inside the Metro Courthouse tonight, council members shook their heads in frustration but learned for the first time that that private company that runs the Juvenile Justice Center may have to pay back some of those high costs. With those images still fresh, we do apologize to the community. Of the four offenders escaping the Juvenile Justice Center. I'm ashamed of it. The apologies came quickly. I'm sorry once again. Sorry about a series of mistakes made by employees of Youth Opportunity, including being tricked by the offenders into letting them ride the elevator to the basement in order to escape to a 30 minute delay in calling 911. This was not Shawshank Redemption. It was pretty uh, mind boggling that, that the, that sequence of events was allowed to occur. What responsibility do you take for training of these individuals that now face criminal charges? Well, I think they were very properly trained and unfortunately they made a poor decision and I hope it works out the best for them. But we know we gave them the training they needed. Do you feel like your company deserves another contractor after everything that's happened? Um, I believe that we're going to make this right. A promise that may include financial reimbursement. Do you feel like you owe it to the city to pay some money back for this mistake? I believe if the costs are rectified and resolved, and, and that's what each side believes, absolutely. It's going to take more than uh, what I heard today to give me the warm fuzzies that we really are uh, uh, have this issue under control. The city's legal department is now in talks with the private company to find out how much of that money they may have to pay back. I'm Jeremy Finley reporting News 4 Investigates.